Welcome to Meet the Victims, where we take a look at conservatives that spread anti-vax memes and then died of COVID. Meet Scott Hillard, 42, Fort Collins, Colorado, a business owner, and yep, super cool. Got a sunglasses on, his hat backwards, and a smirk on his face. He posted, think about this for a second, if you aren't closed-minded. Create a virus to scare people, place them in quarantine, count the number of dead every second of every day and every news headline, close all businesses, 40 million out of jobs, peak unemployment, remove entertainment parks, gyms, bars, restaurants, sports, no dating, no touching, mass people, dehumanize them, close temples and churches, create a vaccine, let depression and anxiety and desperation set in. Do your research! Make up your own minds! Rather than eating everything being spoon-fed to us on social media. Social media is going to kill us. It literally did kill you, motherfucker. You literally died because you believe the fucking stupid memes spread on social media. Foreshadowing. And he wants you guys to know if you try to save his life, he gonna murder you. He posted, just try, referring to vaccinations. My promise to anyone that does this, you will die by my hands. If you try to put something in my body, hey, don't worry, dude. We will absolutely let you die horribly and brutally gasping for your last breath in torturous agony. You want it? You got it, Scott Hillard. He posted, if you get this vaccine, you're about a fucking idiot. And they want you to wear a mask. Misspelled your misspelled wear. Super genius. What's the fucking point of the vaccine then? Yeah, folks. Hey, they want you to wear your seatbelts. I thought airbags worked. What's the use of even having airbags if you're wearing a seatbelt? Checkmate. I know ex-family members that will do it. Because it's common sense. And then uh, his family members are like, yeah, and I did it proudly. So to have such big words when you're not seeing it on the front lines is super one-sided. Open your mind a little. Be less judgy of what others choose for them. Do what is right for you. But man, those words, your and where. Yeah, you can't spell, motherfucker. To which he says, then answer me this. When Obama was in office, 60 million people died of N1H1. Um, uh, No, they didn't. 60 million people caught it, and about between 100 to 500,000 people died from it worldwide. So, uh, might want to do your research. Nobody had to shut down their stores. Nobody had to wear a mask. Putting up with complete bullshit. Actually, other countries where it did spread uh, more than this country wore masks continuously. Now they're saying that you need to wear your mask after you get the vaccine. True, because you can still spread it, and you don't want to. You want to protect your fellow citizens. So uh, if someone would have been good enough to protect your life by wearing a mask, you might still be alive. But you're not. You're dead. You died. He posted, take the mask off, dumbass Democrat. That's right. Don't wear a mask around me. What's the worst that could happen? Hmm? He posted, so for you that got the vaccinations, feel dumb now, don't you? You have not one fucking clue what they put into your body. Hey, I know what they put into your body. A bombing fluid. Because you are dead as fuck. He posted, people who don't want the vaccine aren't refusing it. You don't say a person is refusing to take antidepressants or refusing to get married. You can't decline without refusing. You decide what's best for you. Refuse is a manipulative term loaded with unfair moral pressure. That's right. Don't pressure me into trying to protect my own life because the next thing you know, I'm so dizzy. Shit. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder why. I wonder what you could possibly have. Somebody call Colombo to solve this mystery for us. Then he posted, my lungs hurt so bad. Deep, deep cough. Damn. I know. Damn, man. If only there was some kind of shot you could have taken that was free and easy that would have kept all this from happening. Eh, At least you got your freedoms. He posted, can't even think about me right now. My girlfriend is hurting so bad. I think it's hospital time. So this brain genius gave his girlfriend COVID too. And now she's suffering. And then... While they're both dying of COVID, she breaks up with him. Because good. Run, girl, run. Then he posted, ambulance is on the way. I can't take this no more. COVID for sure. Then he posted, I've been in bed for a long time now. Five to six days. Been so sick, I can't move. My headache hurts so bad. Tears are coming down my face. I can handle a lot. But this fucking hurts so bad, I can't stand it. So I get broke up with over this because she can tell in my face and in my voice, I don't want to be with her. So she left me. Yeah, well, you about to leave everybody. She the least of your problems, dude. Then he posted, do not resuscitate. Okay, done. Then he posted, 
I'm starting to feel worse again. Oh shit, it's gonna get real. It's gonna get uh, real, real. Nothing realer than death, Scott. Then he posted, let's say one thing, SARS COVID can kiss my ass. I've never in my life been this sick, nowhere close. My good Lord, got myself into town this morning and only took 10 steps. Oh great, he's out in town spreading COVID to people. That's great. And I'm done. Going back to my truck, going home, and going back to bed. Can't wait to lay back down. I'm so tired and drained. Would somebody please keep this sick motherfucker in the hospital? This plague rat piece of shit out there killing folks? Then he posted, I've never felt more awkward in my life. My heart is flip-flopping. I'm out of breath. Have this horrible taste in my mouth. Not knowing what lies ahead of me for tonight is giving me anxiety through the roof. Damn, I need a break. Yeah, what you needed was a vaccination. Then he posted, can't even walk up the stairs without completely winded. Fuck COVID, I'm hurting. Well, I still can't taste dinner. I think my lungs are collapsing. So we, this sucks. Then he posted, ambulance on the way. Why are you not in the hospital? Why do you keep going to the hospital and going home? Stay in the fucking hospital, plague rat. Then he says, my lungs feel like they crushed and all I'm doing is gasping for air. Yeah, sounds bad. Sounds real fucking bad, but hey, you didn't comply. Then he posted, just got home, good night. Why are you home? What is happening here? Then he posted, back out of the ER again. You went to the ER and then you're out again? This is like fucking Groundhog Day. Then he posted, asking for prayers, of course, because that always works. I could use some prayers big time. I am very, very, very sick. Come on over. I can help give it to you. See how bad you are. Six emerging trips to the ER. Yeah, no thanks. No thanks, play rat. Stay the fucking far away from you as I goddamn can. And then the next thing you know, two days later, yeah, he dead. He died. Scott passed away. I just heard all these prayers, but where was everyone? We was busy praying. Sorry. I was praying so hard. Shh. Can't believe it didn't work. So Scott Hilliard, 42, deleted, belly up. Meet Donovan Eastman, 55, Orem, Utah. Hairdresser, oh, super cool hair. He posted, imagine vaccine so safe you had to be threatened to take it. For a disease so deadly, you have to be tested. Yeah, imagine dipshits who would literally spread anti-vax memes on Facebook and die of a treatable illness instead of getting a free easy shot. Imagine that. That is some Twilight Zone bullshit. He posted, for the love of God, please explain to me why you would get an untested vaccine against a virus that has a 99.7% survival rate. It's not 99.7%. It's like a 98%. That's like a 2% chance you'll die if you catch it, which if there's a free and easy vaccine you can get to make it a uh, much, much, much less likely that you're going to die or have long-term complications, why wouldn't you take that? Oh, I guess if you were made incredibly afraid, if you were so scared of the vaccine, it caused your life, which it did you, Donovan. Is it because you're an overachiever and won't 99.9% survive weight? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. Every single percentage point I can get to make sure I survive and don't die a brutal, torturous death, I'm absolutely going to do. But I guess I'm the idiot here, you dead fuck. Then he posted, bow down before the God that will save you. With a meme of people bowing down to a golden calf of vaccines. This is so grim. This literally would have saved you. If this were a God, you should have bowed down to it because the God you pick don't give a fuck about you. He posted, I'm not hesitant to take the vaccine. I'm simply not taking the shit. <laughs> Good. One less fucking idiot in the world. Thank you for your choice, Donovan. You chose wisely for the rest of us anyway. And then the next thing you know, please keep Donovan Eastman in your prayers. He is in ICU fighting for his life with COVID. Huh, wonder how that happened. Then he posted, I'm in ICU fighting for my life and I'm feeling the prayers being sent for a drowning man to be saved. That's right, your prayers are working. Pray harder, folks. Pray harder. Definitely working. And uh, yeah, update, dead. His wife posted, my true love, Donovan Eastman has left this earth. Thank you for loving him. Sending him your prayers and positive thoughts because they were so effective. Rip Donovan, just saying. Spread the fucking ridiculous Facebook memes, the one we've seen a million times before. Didn't do the very minimum you could have done to protect your life. And the next thing you know, Donovan Eastman, belly up! Meet Ellen Brendan, 41. She had six kids, folks. She posted, the star of David, not vaccinated, you know, just like the Nazis were trying to do, save all the Jews' life. She posted, I am not vaccinated, don't like it, then stay the fuck away from me. Hey, done. I'm not getting anywhere near the cemetery, so no problem, Ellen. She posted, come make me, with a vaccine needle. Hey, no one has to make you do anything. 
No one has to make you do anything ever again. She posted, while the world is trusting this, with a guy getting a vaccination in his arm, my trust fully rests here, with a picture of the Bible. Huh, how did that work out for you? It's almost like you should have trusted science instead of an ancient book of fiction written by primitive screwheads. I don't know, just saying. And uh, yeah, after all that, then she posts this. She in the hospital, got the machine on, can't talk. To which she says, This has been my situation the past three days. If you feel I'm being rude, I apologize. I'm just trying to, you know, not die. I have COVID pneumonia. Sorry to sound rude, but I just need rest. Yeah. And then, as this fucking moron is laying dying in the goddamn hospital, she herself is posting anti-vax memes. She posts this picture of fucking idiot Aaron Rodgers talking about why he didn't take the COVID vaccine, to which she responds, Did I just become a Packers fan? <laughs> Not for long. Not for long, Ellen. And the next day, her final post was, I won't be here for a while as I'm going to put on the ventilator around noon. Pray for my husband and children, please. Hopefully, we will talk again soon. Spoiler alert, we won't. Because the next thing you know, family and friends, unfortunately, my wife, Ellen Brennan, passed away just before three this morning. Another one of these people that believe the Facebook memes and gave their life because of stupidity. Ellen Brennan, 41. Deleted. Meet Kevin Stevens, 50. Independence, Missouri. Anti-vaxxer. Look how super cool he is. He posted this meme. Coming soon. Digital COVID-19 vaccine passports keeps records readily available for travel. That would be a great thing. This is not a bad thing at all. Let us know who the plague rats are very easily. To which he says, here you go to everyone getting this. I know a lot of individuals that are getting this. Now, if all this turns out to be true and this all plays out, good old Kevin wasn't a true idiot. You were a true idiot. The truest of idiots gave your life for no goddamn good reason. Life is about choices we make. Yeah, and so is death, motherfucker. I will continue to swab my nose every day with Neosporin. Take vitamins that I can put in my own body. If you hate me good, Tilly winks off into the sunset. Yeah, you went to the sunset, didn't you, motherfucker? Then he posts this picture of this guy in a gas mask that says, Today, no mask, no entry. Tomorrow, no vaccine, no job. Somebody soon, no microchip, no right. That's right, folks. It's the mark of the beast, and I will not comply. To which he says, Folks, this is what the government is trying for. And if you give them an inch, they will take as much as they want. I'm pretty sure you all think I'm the fat boy that doesn't pay close attention. Uh, yeah. The good news is death is a great weight loss program, Kevin Stevens. However, all the pieces I have pieced together, they are getting it done just the way they want because everyone's following suit. Hang on to your ass, folks. It's only just begun. <laughs> Not for you, Kevin. It's only just ended. He lost his job because he refused to get vaccinated, folks. Here he is selling his bulletproof vest because, uh, he was so scared of the vaccine, he wouldn't get vaccinated. And he's so scared of life, he has to walk around apparently in a bulletproof vest. But when times get tough, he got to sell that baby. He says, so I get let go of the company today because I don't comply to a mandate, which is not a law. Up for sale. It cost me $425 for sale as of now. A straight 350 cash. Question call me. Yeah. Doesn't someone want this guy's super cool bulletproof vest? Of course you do. And don't worry, folks. He ain't changed his mind. He's not going to comply. He posts this picture of uh, Gina Carano. Do not comply. And then the uh, next thing you know, dead Lori Stevens. Today I found out that my husband, Kevin Stevens, passed away. We may not have always lived together, but we always loved and cared about each other. We've been married 22 years and we've gone through good times and bad. He was and always will have a special place in my heart. He tested positive for COVID-19 pneumonia on Saturday. He was turned away from St. Mary's in Blue Springs, Missouri. Maybe he'd be alive had they not done so. Hey, maybe he'd be alive if he got fucking vaccinated. Huh. He knew what was going on, folks. He wasn't just a fat fucking idiot. You should have listened to him, but don't listen to these fucking idiots. Because Kevin Stevens, 50. Belly up. One more. Meet Vincent Stott, 57. Pompano Beach, Florida. So this guy was in love with anti-vax TikToks. He wasn't a big meme spreader, but instead he spread these bullshit videos from anti-vaxxers all over the place. Let's watch a couple of these bullshit videos that got this idiot killed. Good day and Fauci, you're a liar. You see, the whole world took a huge economic impact for this deadly virus called coronavirus 19, and yet 
it's now all coming out to be a lie. But all of us conspiracy theorists who were morons, idiots, and nuts and didn't know what we were talking about, and we were just spreading disinformation, little by little it's coming out that we were telling the truth. Fauci's emails are out. Yeah, they were telling the truth, folks. It's not real. Huh? Vince Dot, if you were alive, I'm pretty sure you would say it was really real. But you're not. And then these idiots, they get on TikTok and they're so unoriginal, they just read the popular anti-vax memes. If you're outside today, remember that sunscreen only works if other people wear theirs too. True statement. <laughs> Isn't that the same thing as being vaccinated so you don't spread a deadly pandemic disease to other people? Yeah, it totally tracks. Exactly the same thing, isn't it? In these fucking morons' minds. And then uh, here's his last post, folks. The last thing this dead moron posted. If you have to be persuaded, reminded, pressured, lied to, incentivized, coerced, bullied, socially shamed, guilt-tripped, threatened, paid, punished, and criminalized, if all of this is considered necessary to gain your compliance, you can be absolutely certain that what is being promoted is not in your best interest. Yeah, bullshit. Unfortunately, that has to happen because you fucking morons won't do the very minimum you can do to not only save your own lives, but to keep your fellow citizens alive and safe. So yes, they have to do everything in the playbook to try to save people's lives because of you fucking plague rats. But you didn't listen, Vince. You didn't listen, so... Vince Scott, 57, deleted, belly up. Once again, folks, I'll say it every time. You might want to get vaccinated, and if you're not going to get vaccinated, you might want to not share anti-vax memes on Facebook because if you fucking die... I don't want to make fun of you, but I goddamn will. Don't make the list. Get your ass vaccinated.